Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this uh, short video is going to consider uh, finite state machines okay? uh, and more importantly what we're going to consider is finite state machines that recognize particular finite languages okay, where the languages uh, have been are composed of words and those words I suppose are constructed from a specific alphabet and let's say that our alphabet that we're going to that we're going to concentrate on uh, the alphabet let's symbolize it by Sigma just consists of the characters a and B okay so what we're interested in we're interested in finite machines yeah okay that recognize particular languages yeah okay that are made up of uh, D from the alphabet a B but there's many different there's an infinite number of languages I suppose that we could that we could create but let's have a look at the smallest language first of all and then we'll have a look at some machines yeah so let's just try to just keep this in mind is that our alphabet contains A's and B's okay uh, the smallest language are languages languages okay uh, that we could consider uh, I suppose well the smallest language that we could have is the language uh, of words of length zero which is I suppose the empty string let's call that L0 so L0 is going to be lang the language okay that just consists of words of length zero so the only word in that language is the empty string which will symbolize by epsilon okay we won't concentrate too much on this particular language at this stage, but we'll come back to it in later videos. Uh, the next language that we might be interested in is the language uh, that consists of words of length one. Okay, now the only words of length one that we could have uh, are words that are made up of, I suppose, single uh, alphabet characters or symbols. Yeah, so the language is the language of length one of all words of length one. Uh, that can be constructed across this particular alphabet would be consist of simply the symbols a or the word a and the word the word b or the string a and the string b okay uh, the next stage up is when we consider the languages that just consist of words of length two okay so the language l2 for words of length two well they have to they have to have at least words of length one followed by another character. So let's see what are all the possibilities. All the words of length one, well, we have an A, okay? And this word of length one could be followed by any one of the two uh, uh, symbols in our alphabet. So a word of length two would be A followed by A, gives us an AA. It would be the A followed by a B, giving us a B. Uh, but we could have the word B followed by an A, giving us a BA followed by the B followed by a B giving us the word BB okay so L2 here represents it's a finite language that has four words in it and each word is of length of, of length two what about the words or the language uh, that consists of words of length three okay so L3 uh, well, to construct L3, what we should do is we should take each one of the words that are, that are, I suppose, represented in the language L2, and we should concatenate onto them uh, each of our two possible uh, symbols that are listed in our alphabet. So what we could have is we could have the word AA followed by an A, giving us AAA. We could have AA followed by a B, giving us AAB. We could have AB followed by an A, giving us ABA. We could have AB followed by a B giving us uh, ABB. We could have BA followed by an A giving us BAA, BAB, BB followed by the A, also followed by the B giving us BBA, and finally BBB. Okay? So this language L3 consists of words of length 3. Okay? Uh, let's just do one more example we can continue this on yeah constructing uh, I suppose larger and larger languages that have more more symbols in the words okay so let's just look at L4 as another example L4 is all words that have four characters in them okay so once again let's start with the language that has words of length three and let's concatenate onto each one of them words the symbol A or the symbol B so the first word would be A-A-A, followed by an A. 
it would be a a a followed by a b it would be a a b followed by an a a a b followed by a b it would be a b a followed by an a a b a followed by a b it would be a b b followed by an a a b b followed by a b it would be a b a a followed by an a it would be b a a followed by a b it would be b a b followed by an a it would be b a b followed by a b it would be b b a followed by an a b b a followed by a b nearly there we would have b b b followed by an a and b b b followed by a b okay so what we have here is l4 is the language that consists of all words of length four that can be created from an alphabet that contains the two characters or the two symbols a and b and I suppose we can continue on in this fashion, uh, building larger and larger languages. We could look at the language uh, that consists of all words uh, that are composed of uh, five characters. We take the language L4, we concatenate onto each one of the words the A or the B, which will give us all the possible words okay, uh, that would have, I suppose, five characters. Okay? If we'd have A, 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 A followed by an A, 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 A followed by a B, all the way through to B, 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 B followed by an A, and B, 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 B followed by a B, so on and so forth. Okay? So, th the reason why I've gone through this particular process, okay, is because when it comes to finite state machines, and when we want to build a finite state machine diagram to recognize a particular language, it's important that the machine itself okay, reads all inputs that are passed to it okay, and accepts when we pass in specific, specific words that are in the language, but will not be in an accept state when we pass in words that are not in the languages uh, that, we're, that we're looking for a recognizer for. Okay? But I suppose an infinite language, okay, let's call it uh, L star, okay, the language that's composed of all words, okay, that, uh, that can be built from the characters uh, A or the symbols A and B, would be the union of all these possible languages here. So it would be equal to L0, unioned with L1, unioned with L2, unioned with so on and so forth it would be an infinite language okay uh, so let's just keep that in mind okay that these are all the languages and what we're going to be interested in is we're going to be interested in building finite state machines uh, that have words that could be composed or words in the language that come could come from any of these particular these particular uh, finite languages okay so let's consider an example okay so what I'd like to do is, once again, we want to construct construct a finite state machine. Okay, and I'm going to just put in here diagram. It's going to be a directed graph. Okay, uh, construct a finite state machine. Okay, okay, uh, to recognize recognize okay, the language the language. Let's say L1, okay, or let's say L subscript 1, okay, uh, that's simply equal to the character or the word that has the single word A in it, okay? So, and let's keep in mind it's over, it's over the alphabet, it's over the alphabet uh, AB, okay? So we want to construct a machine, and all this machine should do is recognize the word A, it should not recognize any other word that could be composed uh, from the alphabet A B, okay, it should only recognize the word the word A. Okay. So this is a simple case, so let's get started on it. Okay. So what we'll have is uh, we know what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a number of states, uh, we're gonna have a start state, let's symbolize that by by S S0, okay. Uh, and let's just construct the, the machine or the diagram, the directed graph for this finite state machine that recognizes a single A. Okay? So when we pass in the word A to this machine, 
Okay. What this machine should do is it should consume the A and it should go to a final state to say that it recognizes this particular word. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass the A into this machine. It's going to consume the A. It's going to take us to a final state that we'll symbolize